In my many talks and consultations on preparedness, the most common question I got is, what is the most important tool one needs to survive? I know people were expecting the answer to be an AR-15, or an underground bunker, or a self-sufficient farm in the country. But from my research into history, these assets were no guarantee of survival. During without rule of law, anyone displaying or using a firearm will be targeted by the gangs that will either overwhelm or wait in ambush to rob anyone with a weapon. An underground bunker only works if no one knows of it, but many people already know where it is. It provides a false sense of confidence. It's a simple matter to pump smoke or noxious gas down the air intake pipe to drive the inhabitants out where they can be shot one by one. A self-sufficient hobby farm out in the countryside is likewise no sure thing for survival. The Kulaks in the Ukraine, who lived on small farms in the country, did not survive the Bolsheviks that raided them one by one, creating one of the most tragic famines, resulting in four million deaths. Now, I would like to have an AR-15. I'd like to have a well-stocked bunker, and I'd love to have a small farm in the country. But none of these are the most important survival tools. In my study of history and social collapse, I learned that the most important survival tool is knowledge. And that's why for the past 25 years, I have been collecting books that contain more knowledge than I could possibly learn and put into practice. But I wanted them available in case I was faced with a problem I needed more technical help with. I organized them according to six categories so it would be easier to find the books I need for each situation. They are general emergency manuals, medical manuals, how to build shelters, nutrition, communications, and security. Under general emergency manuals I have the Prepper's Long-Term Survival Guide, the Complete Book of Self-Sufficiency, and the Ultimate Preparedness Manual, and six more. Under Medical, I have 30 books on a wide range of medical topics, such as Bushcraft First Aid, Handbook of Medicinal Herbs, The Survival Nurse, The Survival Medicine Handbook, Emergency First Aid for Cats and Dogs, Giving Safe Injections, NATO Emergency War Surgery, Natural Antibiotic Alternatives, How to Make Collodial Silver, Sutures and Suturing, and What to Do if There is No Dentist. Under Shelter, I have 40 books on everything you need to know about building shelters, such as How to Build a Storm Shelter, An Underground Fallout Shelter, and A Bomb Shelter. Seven shelters that could save your life. Tarp shelters. U.S. Army survival shelters. How to make and use wood stoves. Cooling with ventilation. Even improvised John Boat plans. Soap making and candle making. Probably the greatest concern we face is how to feed ourselves and our families. Which is why I assembled 81 books on nourishment. These books will teach you everything you need to know to grow, raise, scavenge, trap, fish, and hunt food. And these books include Household Water Treatment, A Guide to Raised Bed Gardening, Canning Foods, Aquaponics, Edible Wild Plants, How to Raise Ducks, Geese, Chickens, Rabbits, Pigs, Ghosts, and Sheep, for food, basic fishing methods, 
how to distill quality alcohol at home, a beekeeping guide, artificial salmon spawning, and permaculture. My security collection includes 66 books that cover everything from guerrilla tactics and firearms to hunting and search and rescue. These include Orienteering with Map and Compass, Urban Search and Rescue Guide, Combined Arms Operations in Urban Terrain, Booby Traps, Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape, Rifle Marksmanship by the U.S. Marine Corps, The Hunter's Handbook, How to Trap and Snare, The Ranger's Handbook, Combat Training with Pistols, and even How the Weather Works and How to Forecast It. Finally, I have 51 books on communications that not only cover various radios and how to use them, but also how to build and improvise various power generators to recharge batteries and run electrical equipment. These include operating your ham radio in an emergency, tactical single-channel radio techniques, Build your own 12-volt engine generator. Building the basic PVC wind turbine. Do-it-yourself wind turbine. Upcycle your PC fans into mini wind generators. Small-scale water current turbines. Pedal power generator. Wood gas generator. Emergency power for amateur radio stations. And even how to make a salt water battery. So after 20 years of collecting, I have 280 books and manuals that will provide vital information I need to help me survive any crisis, but would allow me to rebuild civilization if the bankers carry out their plans to destroy the world. I even have ways of making these books available during an evacuation and a power down situation. See my video, The Portable Survival Library, link below and at the end of this video. I am offering all 280 books for free. Well, yes, there's a catch. You have to first order my book collection, which includes the 36 Strategies of Ancient China, The Art of Urban Survival, Blind Zen, Defense Against the Psychopath, The 1881 Household Encyclopedia, How to Master Secret Work, and My Magnum Opus, The Way of the Warrior. Order my seven books for $49.95 and you will receive all the survival books as a bonus. That works out to less than 17 cents per book. For the past 25 years, I've been helping people to prepare for the collapse of civilization. But now, I'm helping people to prepare to rebuild our society and usher in a new renaissance. You will need these books to rebuild.